Army Captain Verdell Benson was another ripped rookie. Wow! Here he goes, looking solid. And solid is a very dis good descriptive word for this man because he is built like a tank. What's up you guys, this is Adana. Welcome back to my channel. So I have another True Life series for you guys and I'm really excited about this one. If you guys are new to my channel and you have not subscribed as yet, please go ahead and do so right now. Join me on this journey. If you have not seen my True Life series, I have a playlist of all the different True Life series that I have done. So you can just go and type that into my search bar, True Life, and they will all pop up. But this True Life is gonna be about Verdell Benson. He is a PA who also competed in American Ninja Warrior. What? That is crazy. I'm really excited to bring this one to you. Uh, I hope you guys are inspired by it. I know I'm excited about it. I'm ready to see what he has to say. And without further ado, because I know you can't wait either, I introduce you guys to Verdell Benson. Hello, my name is Verdell Benson. I'm a PA and I was a contestant on this year's season of American Ninja Warrior. And this is my true life. I uh, decided to go into the military because I was a kid from South Carolina, you know, always close to home, but I, I always had the bug to, to travel. Uh, I wanted to seek new experiences and, and, and have an adventure, to be quite honest. And, uh, you know, serving my country and the, the Army, I saw was a path to, to uh, fulfill a bigger role in life as, as well as uh, meet that need to seek new experiences. I have been to war. I was deployed twice with my unit out of Schofield Barracks. My first deployment was 12 months uh, in Afghanistan uh, in the uh, Kandahar province. Uh, and that was my job as a medical service officer leading the medical platoon. Uh, I did that for 12 months and, and thankfully uh, deployed back safely. Uh, I then was back on the island for just under a year and then got deployed again. Uh, so I did a second deployment to Iraq and that was uh, at Kirkuk Air Force Base. And there I was a assistant operations officer for a, a brigade support battalion. And in that role, I was uh, performed as a tactical operations officer. So I was the, uh, the guy you see in the movies that was in the command center kind of providing the, uh, the monitoring of the battlefield situation for my unit and had to give the briefings to the higher officer whenever he walked into the room. So just to speak about that, I, I had a rough kind of family time in my life. My father passed away from poor health. Uh, he had a lot of the chronic metabolic diseases that afflict the, um, pretty much the American community, but especially the African American community. And so my father eventually succumbed to his uh, his metabolic conditions and, and had kidney failure and was on dialysis and and eventually was put on hospice and passed away and so I, w when this happened that really lit the spark in me to pull back on my previous interest in in medicine to begin with and that's when I said you know I, I think I'm going to pursue PA uh, and it just lit the spark in me to actually apply and uh, pursue a profession where I would be helping people by passing on medical knowledge and hopefully save someone else's father from making the same poor life decisions that my dad made uh, so he can be there for his kids. Now I'm currently working in occupational medicine where it's really a combination of everything I've done in the past. Uh, doing annual physicals and, and doing screening for work uh, pulls definitely on, on my primary care experience. And then obviously people are getting hurt on the job and a lot of it is orthopedic. So I pull heavily on my orthopedic experience. And then there's also mal traumas that I manage as well. Um, and so I, I pull on my emergency med experience. So it seems like looking backwards, connecting all the dots have led me to where I am right now. And as you know, I'm, I'm in a very nice position where you know, I have my own office and, and I'm working in a clinic and, uh, you know, I have a varied experience of uh, 
uh, patient population, and I'm currently happy in my new position. You know, I, I think this is a problem that most people that are involved in fitness face. Uh, we only have 24 hours a day. You have to sleep. Uh, most of us, you know, have to work and, and make money. So you're really finding time uh, or making time uh, whenever you can in, in order to get your fitness goals in. Uh, and, and I say it comes in phases. There are times in my life when it was just my wife and I, you know, I'm able to go to the gym for two or three hours on a weekend or maybe early in the morning before work or, or even after work uh, before she gets home. Uh, but now that we have a, a really young baby, uh, we have, have a seven month old son now. Um, and, uh, so life has changed obviously. So if, if you see behind me, I, I, I actually put a pull up tower, uh, in my office. So, you know, I, I have different routines depending on the day where maybe I'll go knock off uh, a set of uh, pull ups and dips and different various exercises in between patients. So it's really about being creative and, and making the time whenever you can in life. My wife is actually a PA as well. And then so I, I think we have a, a pretty good balance. Obviously, we have family help uh, to help with uh, with our little one here. So we have grandma helping uh, out with the baby. And, and then we have a nanny as well uh, to assist us. So I'd say that it's a very nice uh dynamic having a, a partner that's also a PA for anyone else that might be listening and can, can probably attest uh, having a partner in medicine as well so you two can bounce things off of each other and then obviously I'm, I'm able to discuss medicine with her and she with I and, and we can have that mutual understanding. So it's been great. It's been a great dynamic in the relationship. I remember being in the surgical suite when I was an orthopedic PA, I was speaking with one of the anesthesiologists about American Ninja Warrior and he said to me, you know, you should really consider rock climbing because a lot of the better ninjas have those rock climbing skills. So that was about three years ago, actually, and, and I went rock climbing with, uh, with my colleague and uh, I fell in love with rock climbing, fell in love with that sport and, and realized, you know, I'm a bigger athlete compared to a lot of the ninjas on the show. I'm you know, maybe 5'11 on a good day, and, and I currently weigh over 205. I'm between 205, probably 208. Uh, so I'm definitely on the heavier side uh, of a ninja. A lot of that is muscle, obviously, and, and it's functional, but still it's it's a different level of fitness, and you have to train for a lot of the small uh, forearm and, and hand and, and finger tendon strength uh, and, and those small muscles in order to perform a lot of the feats and those obstacles. Uh, I competed in many different local ninja leagues just to get experience, also just doing rigorous training at the gym uh, leading up to the show. Uh, I was fortunate uh, enough to be chosen out of tens of thousands of applicants across the country. Uh, I trained really hard and, and had my shot at the show. The hardest part about being on the show was really the, the, the timeline. A lot of people don't know. It's not uh, early evening when, when you're actually filming. It's, it's very late at night. So I think my run was actually, I think my first run was one or two o'clock in the morning. So you're, you're a little bit off of your cycle. So a, a veteran move, and I've learned this now, is to uh, maybe a week before filming is to kind of change your sleep cycle so that you can readjust and, and be better prepared to exert yourself physically in the middle of the night. Uh, one rookie mistake I, I made, so uh, definitely something I hope if they have me back next year, I have the ability to, to do that and, and be better prepared uh, for the competition itself. So the most rewarding part of the show, uh, for me, I'd say was right when I was standing on the stairs about to walk up on the platform for the qualifier night. And uh, so they're, they're telling me to get ready. And I just got into a nice mental space. It was very serene, I was very calm. I just closed my eyes and I, and I thought back to my journey. You know, everything I've done in my life to get me to that point. You know, I'm finally living part of my dream to, to actually have the opportunity to compete on American Ninja Warrior and, and be on that grand stage. And so I, I 
to be quite honest, got a little emotional, you know, I almost started crying before I even ran the course because I was just so happy that all of the work I've done and, and the preparation paid off and I earned a spot to prove myself and I had the opportunity to, to actually get on that grand stage. So that was the most, actually the most re rewarding part of the run. So this is, this is a great question. Uh, I would say that, uh, you know, I, I, it's flattering to hear. I, I hope that I'm inspiring uh, people to, to maybe make positive changes in their life. I, I embrace that fully, wholeheartedly. I, I'd say it's, it's my mission in life. And I think anyone that wants to pursue medicine can relate to that. Uh, obviously, we choose this profession, which isn't easy, which is very tough, actually. And uh, we do that in order to, to serve as not just role models, but to be teachers and in order to lead people. I, I'd say the, the, the main job as a PA or a medical provider is to be a leader, not just in your own life, but in other people's lives in order to help them reach their goals, obviously of medical uh, fitness and, and, and being of sound mind and body so that they can go on and live their lives and make a difference in other people's lives. I, I, I am honored if, if anyone thinks I'm, I'm any speck of uh, inspiration or hope or if I can inspire anyone uh, to make positive change in their life. Just my key takeaway in order to achieve anything in life, do something every day that's gonna move you closer to your goal. And I, I think we all get caught up that in order to make a difference or to achieve something big, you have to make a big move. You know, it's 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 all about putting it all out there in, in a short amount of time and, and achieving something great. Whereas the, the reality is every worthy goal is actually comprised of many, many small steps. I mean, sometimes maybe it takes a lifetime, right? Um, or maybe it takes a year. Everyone's story is going to be a little bit different and, and based on their goal. But my main point for everyone to take away is do something every day. It, it only has to be one little thing, one little step. We've all heard that, uh, that uh, saying, uh, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Uh, it can be done one step at a time every day. Do something small, something measurable uh, that isn't going to overwhelm you to help you meet your goal in life, whatever that is. And, and that can be building your, your body to, to, to meet some type of physical goal. Uh, obviously, <laughs> becoming a PA, uh, going through PA school every single day, you know, you're studying a little bit in order to layer that medical knowledge on board. I mean, the, the list really goes on. I think this can be broken down and applied to anything that you're aspiring to achieve in life. Oh my gosh! First off, I just want to thank Verdell. Thank you so much for um, your service to the country as well as your family service because uh, I'm pretty sure like it's a family thing. So just want to thank you so much for that. But secondly, thank you for doing this true life because I'm sure that there are many people who look at American Ninja Warrior and they're like, oh man, like I wish I could do that. And you know, your your video right now is inspiring them to be like, yes, I can. I just have to take small steps. And that is one thing that I took away from this. I really hope that everyone kind of takes that away as well it's just kind of doing little things to get you to the goal that you want to be at because a lot of times we want to kind of just skip the line um, you know jump a few steps um, further than where we need to be and we need to be able to kind of just trust in the process and do those little things each day just do one little thing every day to take you closer to the goal that you want and so I'm I, that's my takeaway because even now in clinical year of PA school that's what I'm doing one step every day as I'm seeing more and more patients as I'm doing more and more questions um, it's getting me closer to my goal of being a PA so I'm really excited about that message that you gave me it's something that I'm gonna hold dear to I just have to commend you on that dedication man like having the pull-up bar in your office doing pull-up sets in between patients that's 
amazing and that has inspired me to do more myself with respect to my um, you know physical activity because you always like you always make excuses but instead of making excuses you need to make the time to do the work so thank you for that as well really really appreciate that y'all if y'all didn't get anything from this I don't know what y'all was watching but I definitely got a lot um, really appreciate you taking the time out to talk to us about this stuff um, being an American Ninja Warrior contestant and also being a PA and being a veteran um, I commend you on all of those it's amazing so if you can do all of these things we have no excuse right just continue to take the little steps for those of you who are interested in being an American Ninja Warrior go do some rock climbing um, if you're interested in being a PA uh, go ahead and take the necessary small steps to that be it a class be it some type of training be it studying be it taking a, a training course to pass the GRE, whatever it may be, take those steps, do what you need to do, um, and you'll get there. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, um, please leave it in the comment section below. Please, please, please be sure to go follow Verdell on all of his different social media sites. Support this man, he's doing some great things. Also, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! I appreciate you guys allowing me the opportunity to share my story. Uh, I, I do. I'm, I'm a fan of your program, actually. Uh, you know, I was really pleased with the uh, with the quality of the video. So I, I hope, uh, you know, I can help uh, meet your intent of, of reaching out to people interested in the PA profession. And uh, if there's anything else I can do to, to be of service for what you're trying to accomplish in life, let me know. All right, guys. Thank you very much.